Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Dude, this is already past GTA. We can actually get a job, all right? We are serving food. Like, come on, GTA. I want to I wanna get a job, a normal job, okay? Open up Cluck and Bell or something. Yeah. Come on, girl. We just got a little bit of in here, you know, just to help your day out. So you take that. Lincoln. Thank you. Oh, you welcome, girl. You you welcome. Then you gonna get high. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Well, maybe I will do that. Oh, what the? Oh, bitch. No, it ain't. Give me that gun. <laughs> Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful here. Yeah? Those Haitians are hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lié que c'est divers et c'est suscite l'hostilité. You show sure this is how you want to play this. Last thing they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the road. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. I feel like we're on Assassin's Creed right now. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get Sammy, we doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man's dead. Him, Alice, and the other one. Lincoln Clay. He's the one. This time he won't get away from us. They trying to kill my whole family. That ain't how it's gonna go down, boy. Oh, 
I ain't doing this quiet no more. Mistake going after the hollow. One more play, easy. Come on! Play to block me. Not on so too light now. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. Yeah. I already walked in to tap that fool up. Why he had a Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me. I kiss you, motherfucker. You and your entire goddamn family. So he was in a freaking. He's dead. He can't hurt you anymore. Dirty mother. It's over. 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 <laughs> this is never going to be over. Pajam! Now I don't feel bad about walking in there and tearing that fool up, boy. Fucking Haitians. <laughs> I don't feel bad about that now. Is she getting killed out there? Oh, okay. That's how we doing stuff. Don't worry, I won't. About fucking time. Thank you, bro. You brought this on yourselves. Let's get out of here. Get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, and I let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how. Fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. <laughs> Where was I? Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. But with them out the way, things will calm down. We're back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Hey, man, be careful! Yeah, anyway, no, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. The Ellis, we don't need to talk about. I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we got to be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we got to worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. The thing Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always going to be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going to end. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. It won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day. 
I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the well. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we going to do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery going to be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it. But they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. <laughs> 